Son of a bitch, this thing is broken as fuck. God damn it, Jeb. Huh. Wonder what happened to that Nasu Man robot. It's time to feed the trolls. Season 5. Hello, cute fuzzy weasel, and welcome to another Feeding the Trolls, a show that lords over me like some kind of curse. Now, I'm gonna try and have the Q&A video show up after this one, but I can't make any promises, so it might be one or two days after this episode goes up, but this is gonna take priority. Anyway, this episode, we're gonna be doing this guy. Because I forgot his name. That's actually a lot more common than you might expect. So we're gonna be doing this guy's video about why white people aren't from Earth. Yeah, I didn't know I was a Martian either. Good afternoon. You, sir, have a voice that was made for doing cartoons. This is Rudolf from Germany. This guy is about to lay down some dank raps. I am... Addressing today specifically Afro-American people. I might be probably the first white man, Aryan, German man. Oh, when the word Aryan starts getting thrown around, you know it's going to be good. Who is admitting something to you? I am Iron Man. I took a long time to think about this video which I'm showing you, a very short one. Well, if the video is short, then, you know, cut to the chase, pal. I don't have all day. About the white race. Anytime the words white race get thrown around, you know it's going to be a great video. Many of you dark-skinned people, in America mainly. Because black people don't exist anywhere else have had a suspicion for a very long time. White people are not really human. Yeah! Ah! And this suspicion has been around for a long, long time. We suspected for a long, long time that space was made of water. And like any suspicion, which is around for a long, long time, there is a little bit of truth to it. I want to admit today to you that white people Come on, man! originating from Northern Europe uh, are called, a not aliens, they are called Aryans. Okay, it... It kind of sounds like you're saying they're not called aliens, they're called aliens. I love using that cat graphic. Sorry about that. My brain don't function so well today. I have a feeling it hasn't functioned so well in a long time. These white people are not really human from this earth like black people are, Indian people are, Asian people are. Yes, they are all humans. We white people are actually a minority and we are, let's, let's face the truth, also called the tall whites. Well, fuck me then, I'm five foot five. Not all of them are, not all of us are tall, not all of us are completely white, but in general, that's what it is. In general, us white people look like the PC master race. And as some of you may know, the tall whites are not really earthly human, but we're coming out of space, out of another galaxy. That's right. It's not enough that we're aliens. We're from a whole other fucking galaxy. And we just so happen to be genetically identical to every other human on this planet. We are not human as the rest of the human race. We came here from another star, we white people, in order to control the world. 
So, white people came from an entirely different galaxy. I'm assuming you're just talking like any galaxy. You haven't spe specified any kind of galaxy. So just for safety, we're going to say Andromeda because it's closest. So white people originating from Andromeda, I guess, traveled all the way across intergalactic space, all the way to the Milky Way galaxy, flew into the Milky Way galaxy to specifically come to Earth for the purposes of controlling a single planet. Wow. We white people sure do know how to waste resources, don't we? Grand Council of White Alien People, even though there are countless planets in our own galaxy, and even though it would be a monumental waste of resources, time, energy, and manpower, I propose that we leave our home galaxy and travel all the fuck way over to that one so we can invade and control a single planet. Garmin Arnar 2016. I will build a galactic wall. We white people all have a secret code, a secret language under each other. That's right. All white people have a secret language, which we write in the foam of pumpkin spice lattes. We know, no matter how nice we pretend to be, we all stick together. It would help if we stopped slathering each other in glue, but... In order to control the other race, races, particularly the black race. And I am feeling so bad about it by now that I had to speak out here on this video and admit it. Ah, but you're white. So as you said, no matter how generous you are, I can't exactly trust you. Wait a minute. I'm white. I can't trust me. White people are not human. Because we're all secretly cats. White people, including myself, all stick together, know the truth, which they do not want to admit to you. Cletus here knows that he's actually an alien from Andromeda, which is why he's so poor. White people are out of space. We come from another galaxy. We all know our home planet, which we don't want to reveal. All hail macaroni and cheese world. Because we don't want to be attacked. By the Asians, who also have a secret space fleet. What? You guys didn't know that? And we have no good attention with you. We have come to your planet to mine your pumpkin spice. No... I can't use pumpkin spice because I've already used pumpkin spice. Like, what's another, what's another white thing? Hey, hey, guys, what's, what's another white thing? What's another thing we could have come down to this planet to start mining? We do not want to share our wealth with you. Which is why we white people choose to also have mundane jobs and deal with money issues like every other race in the world. Rather than using our advanced space technologies to make our lives better. We do not want to share our knowledge with you. You see, it's all a part of our master plan. You see, first we fly from our home galaxy to Earth, expending an untold number of monies and resources in the endeavor. Then, step three, profit. You have been mistreated hundreds of years ago, and this is very, very bad, and your chances in life to the most of, us, of you, many, many, many of you have no chance in life. You can sit and wait for work on a corner with your other friends and work will never arrive to you. It's very, very hard, I know. And we rich people, we white people, we alien people don't want to share what we have with you. I'm going to be honest, what you're saying kind of comes off as a little racist towards other races. I mean, think about it. He kind of sounds like he's saying anyone who's not white is doomed to sit on a street corner and never achieve anything. 
I also find it slightly disrespectful to the actual history that you would chalk up the current issues that we're facing with racial inequality and such, which is still a big fucking issue here in the rural south, not to a history of race-based inequalities, or economic disadvantages, or a dug-in good old boy power structure, or the drug war, or the school-to-prison pipeline, or any of that. No, it's, it's none of that. The real reason we're having problems is because Lord Xenu sent a space fleet to Earth 5,000 years ago to collect all the Beanie Babies. So you have a good time. This is my testimony in public. White people are from another planet. We white people all know it. And I want to apologize for everything that happened through our bad behavior to you. That happened as a result of Darth Vader. Anyway, this is Geofuzzy Weasel. If you like this video, comment, subscribe, and all that other crap that everybody says at the end of their videos. Also, all you white people out there, remember... <laughs>